Yo, Foo, this unit is pretty basic. Acid what you did there. That's right, today we're talking about properties of acids and bases. Hit the theme. Ain't nothing but a chem thing, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. Lancaster is a district that pays me. Unbreakable, so please don't try to break this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Hello and welcome to another episode of Shoo Fu Keminacha. I'm your host, Shu, and with me as always is Fu. Fu better believe it. Don't even think about it, just answer. What's your favorite strong acid? Sulfuric. What's your favorite basic pH? 8.3. What's your favorite color of brown thymol blue? Yellow. Yellow. Did we just fall in love with acids and bases? Yup. Do you want to make this video all about the properties of acids and bases? Yup. So let's get started. Properties of acids and bases. A lesson from the acids and bases unit. General properties, acids. They're molecular compounds. Again, that means covalent, but are electrolytes. They dissociate into ions and conduct electricity. Now, this is an exception to the rule of electrolytes being ionic. Acids are molecular, but they still form ions in solution. Acids have a sour taste. They react with metals to form H2 gas. Any metal above H2 on table J will replace it in the solution. So if you take a look at the picture to our right here, we have some metal reacting with an acid, and as you can see, there's a lot of bubbling going on. They cause indicators to change color. For example, phenolphthalein is colorless in an acid. General properties, bases. Bases are usually ionic compounds and are thus electrolytes. They dissociate into ions and conduct electricity. Bases taste bitter. Bases feel slippery. An example would be soap. They also cause indicators to change color. For example, phenolphthalein is pink in a base. Examples of acids. Look for H in the front of the formula. Citrus fruits have citric acid. Carbonated beverages have carbonic acid. Vinegar is acetic acid. A car battery has sulfuric acid. Use table K for both the formulas and the names of acids. Now taking a look at table K, this is a list of all the acids we're going to use this year. Now if you look at the first column where it says formula, you'll notice all the formulas have hydrogen or the H right in front for your acids. This is a dead giveaway that you have an acid. Now also all these acids are aqueous. They're all dissolved in water. Now the name is also listed in the second column of all of your acids for you. So if you uh, don't know what to write down for a name, you've got it right there on table K. Now, if you take a look at carbonic acid, this is the second one from the bottom. Now, it gives you the formula H2CO3 that has the H in front, but carbonic acid can also just be CO2 aqueous, so be careful. Ethanoic acid at the bottom also has a version where it has H in the front, HC2H3O2, or it has a version where the H is actually at the end, CH3COOH, and we will talk about organic acids later. Examples of bases. Look for metals combined with OH. Drain cleaner contains sodium hydroxide. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Window cleaner contains ammonia. Bleach contains sodium hypochlorite. And soap is another example of a base. Use table L for both the formulas and the names of bases. Now taking a look at table L, this is actually not an exhaustive list of all bases because bases are metal hydroxides and this clearly doesn't list all possible metal hydroxides. Again, like table K, we have the formula on the left. We see that all bases are aqueous. We also see that they contain OH at the end of the formula. The name is on the right. Now there is one sort of strange one on this list and that would be the last one, NH3 aqueous, that is aqueous ammonia. We're gonna talk a little bit later about why this is classified as a base but clearly we can see that this is not a metal hydroxide. Non-examples. Salts are ionic compounds, like most bases, and thus electrolytes. Salts, however, do not contain OH. Non-electrolytes are molecular compounds, like all acids. Non-electrolytes, however, do not ionize and can't be acids or bases. Watch out for alcohols which have OH in their formulas, but no metals. 
An example would be CH3OH. Bases are always metal hydroxides. You try number one. Classify each of the following as an acid, base, salt, or non-electrolyte. Now, as a wise man once said, if you're not using your reference tables, you're doing it wrong. Specifically, tables K, L in your periodic table. The Arrhenius definition for acids. Acids produce hydrogen ion in solution, or H+. Looking at this example, we have HCl aqueous yield H plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. So the HCl in water is breaking down into H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Hydrogen ion can combine with water to form hydronium ion. The formula for hydronium ion is H3O plus. It's just water with hydrogen, H plus. Now don't mix hydronium up with hydroxide. Hydroxide indicates you have a base, whereas hydronium indicates that you have an acid. Thus, we can alternately say that acids produce hydronium ion in solution. Now we can look at HCl in water a slightly different way. HCl aqueous plus H2O liquid yields Cl minus aqueous plus H3O plus aqueous. You can kind of imagine that the H plus from the HCl is being transferred over to the H2O to make the hydronium ion H3O plus aqueous. Arrhenius definition for bases. Bases produce hydroxide ions in solution, OH minus. Now please, don't confuse hydroxide with hydronium. They're very different. Now looking at our example, we have NaOH aqueous, which will yield Na plus aqueous and OH minus aqueous. Now we can then say NaOH is a base because it produces OH minus in solution. We're gonna look at some alternate definitions of acids and bases. This one is called the Bronsted-Lowry definition. Let's begin with acids. Acids are defined as hydrogen ion donors. H plus is transferred to another species, which acts as a base. More on that later. If we take a look at our picture at the bottom, we can see that HCl is transferring an H plus to water to make hydronium ion and chloride ion. Because HCl is donating the H plus, that makes HCl a Bronsted-Lowry acid. Continuing on with our Bronsted-Lowry definition, bases. Bases are hydrogen ion acceptors. H plus is transferred from another species, which acts as an acid. So if you take a look at our example, we've got NH3 and water. Water, if you take a look at that H on the left, it's gonna be donated to the hydrogen accepting NH3. So NH3 becomes NH4 plus, and the H2O becomes OH minus. Now, because H2O donated that H plus, it is the acid, and because NH3 accepted the H plus, that makes it the Bronsted-Lowry base. Notice from the last two examples that water can act as either an acid or a base. Kind of strange, but it depends on what it's in the presence of. So in the presence of HCl, water acts as a base. It's accepting the H plus from HCl. In the presence of ammonia, NH3, water acts as an acid because it donates the H plus to NH3. So water can act as an acid or a base depending on what type of solution it's in. All right, one last thing here on Bronsted-Lowry since we're all taking a New York State Regents Chemistry exam at the end of the year, we have to familiarize ourselves with the way New York State words their questions. So for whatever reason, New York State doesn't like to use Bronsted-Lowry, but they still like to ask questions about this theory of acids and bases. So instead of saying Bronsted-Lowry, they're gonna phrase it as according to another theory of acids and bases or an alternate theory of acids and bases. So they're gonna word it that way as opposed to just saying Bronsted-Lowry. So be careful. You try number two. Draw an arrow showing the hydrogen ion transfer and identify the Bronsted-Lowry acid and base in the following equation. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode on the properties of acids and bases. I've had feelings. Today's episode is brought to you by... Ali Amazon. USB powered pocket walk. Fresh stir fry anywhere. Huge five ounce capacity. 
But we never off, we zone to the break of dawn S-E-I-E-N-C-E in the hall, they call S-Wing You know we never wear a tie Like my homies, boys, two men, it's so hard to say goodbye Like, like this, that, and this, and a It's like that, and like this, and like that, and a It's like this You're going in low power mode Plug and chill to the next episode